He was known for his exceptional talent as a composer and organist. He achieved recognition for his extensive body of work, including verse anthems and madrigals. His name is Thomas Tompkins. In the world of music history, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Thomas Tompkins. Born in St. David's in Pembrokeshire in 1572, Tompkins came from a family of talented musicians. His father, also named Thomas, was an organist and vicar choral at St. David's Cathedral. It was clear from a young age that Thomas had inherited his family's musical talents. By the time he was admitted to Magdalen College, Oxford in 1607, Tompkins had already made a name for himself as an organist at Worcester Cathedral. He married Alice Patrick, a widow, and together they had a son named Nathaniel. Tompkins' musical prowess caught the attention of Thomas Morley, another renowned composer and pupil of William Byrd. Morley even included one of Tompkins' madrigals in his influential collection, The Triumphs of Oriana. Throughout his career, Tompkins continued to compose and perform. In 1612, he oversaw the construction of a magnificent new organ in Worcester Cathedral. His collection of madrigals, the Songs of Three, Four, Five, and Six Parts, was finally published in 1622. Tompkins' talent and dedication earned him the prestigious position of a gentleman ordinary and organist at the Chapel Royal in 1621, under his friend Orlando Gibbons. However, Tompkins' life was not without its challenges. His wife Alice passed away in 1642, the same year the English Civil War broke out. Worcester, where Tompkins lived and worked, was greatly affected by the conflict. The cathedral was desecrated, and Tompkins' organ was badly damaged. His house was hit by cannon fire, destroying many of his possessions and possibly some of his musical manuscripts. Despite these hardships, Tompkins continued to compose. He created a tribute to Thomas Wentworth, the first Earl of Strafford, and another to the memory of William Laud, Archbishop of Canterbury, both of whom were beheaded in the 1640s. Tompkins' loyalty to the royalist cause was evident in his music, including his beautiful composition, Sad Pavan, for these distracted times, written shortly after the execution of King Charles I in 1649. In his later years, Tompkins faced financial difficulties and lived with his son Nathaniel and his wife Isabella. He expressed his gratitude by composing The Lady Folliot's Galliard in honor of his daughter-in-law. Tompkins passed away in 1656 at the age of 84 and was laid to rest in the churchyard of St. Michael and All Angels in Martin Hussingtree. Thomas Tompkins' legacy lies not only in his own musical compositions but also in his contributions to the world of English music. His madrigals and verse anthems showcased his skill and creativity, while his role as an organist and composer at Worcester Cathedral and the Chapel Royal solidified his place in history. Despite the challenges he faced, Tompkins remained dedicated to his craft, leaving behind a body of work that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Thomas Tompkins, a renowned composer of the 17th century, left a lasting legacy with his remarkable compositions. Despite the changing musical landscape of his time, Tompkins remained steadfastly rooted in the traditions of the Renaissance. While his contemporaries embraced the emerging Baroque style, Tompkins forged his own path, creating a body of work that showcased his unique artistic vision. Hashtag continue hashtag. One of Tompkins's notable accomplishments was his collection of madrigals. These compositions, such as The Fawns and Satyrs Tripping, were included in Morley's famous anthology, The Triumphs of Oriana. Tompkins displayed great expressive power in his madrigals, employing techniques like text painting and chromaticism reminiscent of Italian madrigalists like Lorenzo and Lazaski. Despite the changing musical landscape, Tompkins remained true to his Renaissance roots, creating music that was both timeless and evocative. Hashtag continue hashtag. In addition to his madrigals, Tompkins was a prolific composer of both full and verse anthems. His output in this genre was surpassed only by William Child, making him one of the most significant English composers of the 17th century. Many of his anthems were widely copied and used in churches across the country. To ensure the preservation of his music, Tompkins's son Nathaniel oversaw the posthumous publication of Musica Deo Sacra et Ecclesiae Anglicani. This five-volume set contained a wealth of sacred music, including services, psalm tunes, anthems, and more. Hashtag continue hashtag. Through his compositions, Thomas Tompkins demonstrated a steadfast dedication to his craft and an unwavering commitment to the traditions of the past. While others embraced the evolving musical styles of the time, Tompkins remained true to his Renaissance roots. His madrigals, anthems, and liturgical music showcased his mastery of polyphonic language and his ability to evoke deep emotion through his compositions. Today, Tompkins' music stands as a testament to the enduring power of the Renaissance era and the timeless beauty of his artistic vision. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next?
Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.